Hey there. Welcome to another time of talking about depression. You know, we've been talking about depression all month long and the month of May 2024. And I realized that um, it's something that many of us continue to struggle with. And if you haven't been able to follow along, please feel free to go back and look at the other uh, videos about depression. And we're talking about depression and God's answers to depression. And you know, when I was going through times of depression in my life, or when I go through them, you know, sometimes our friends mean well, but we also uh, don't want to burden them down. So during those times, we convince ourselves they don't want to hear about it because they don't, they wouldn't understand. And so a lot of times we keep that to ourselves, and that only adds to our sadness. That only adds to our uh, uh, depression or our feeling bad and feeling down. But as always, you know, each time I talk about it, I bring you scripture. So today's scripture comes from Isaiah 40, verses 28 through 31. And it says, have you not known, have you not heard, the Lord is the everlasting God, the creator of the ends of the earth. God does not faint or grow weary. God's understanding is unsearchable. God gives power to the weak, that's us sometimes, and strengthens the powerless. Even youth will faint and be weary, and the young will fall exhausted. This is my favorite part of this whole passage. But those who wait for the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not be faint. And the other part of the song, if you've seen the song, is teach me, Lord, teach me, Lord, how to pray or how to wait, depending on what version you look at. And so here Isaiah is reminding us that God never gets tired of, of being there for us. God never gets tired of hearing about our problems, our concerns. God never gets tired of dealing with us and whatever challenges you're going through, including depression. God doesn't have call waiting to ignore us uh, if we happen to call up God on the main line, as they say. God doesn't sleep. God is always watchful. God never gets tired of hearing from us. We may get tired of talking about it, but God never gets tired of listening to us. Our friends get tired sometimes, and we don't want to burden them down. But God never gets tired. Remind yourself of that when you feel down. Remind yourself that God is there to renew your strength, to raise you up, to raise me up like eagle's wings, to renew our strength, to help us not to grow weary, to help us not stay faint. And I've shared before, the depression is just a moment in time. And some of us deal with it for a long period of our lives. Some deal with it, and it's called chronic or clinical depression. But in either case, no matter where we are, God is still there to help us through it, to help it be adapted to our lives. The times I went through depression, I just had to deal with it because it was there. But I never gave up on God. I never thought that God would not help me through it or be with me in the midst of it. So just remind yourself when you get tired, and when you're in the midst of the depression, that God is there to raise you up because God never sleeps. God never gets tired of us. God is never weary. Depression is there and it's real. Let's keep talking about it for the rest of the month. Take care. Bye-bye.